Hi everyone, today we have a very short video going over six prefecture or region specific stickers you can see in Japan. Uh, the list of all potential sticker metas is really rather long, so I tried to narrow it down to a handful that are both easily identifiable and consistent. Uh, to start us off, we'll have the Nara uh, red and white arrow sticker that looks like this, uh, Nara being this prefecture here in central Kansai. Um, somewhat like an inversion of the arrows that you can see on some Hokkaido guardrails, um, and is definitely one of the more unique uh, stickers that you can see in Japan. Uh, they're mostly found on signposts um, and throughout the prefecture. Uh, the next sticker will be for Okayama Prefecture, um, which is here in Chugoku. This sticker is black top and uh, the rest of it is yellow, typically has text on the black part and numbers on the um, yellow part, uh, reminiscent of like the Hyogo sticker that that has a that is all yellow but has a relatively similar layout. Uh, it can be found on poles like this one or on signposts like here. Next we have a region specific um, sticker for Shikoku. As far as I can tell, it is not found in Tokushima. So just the other, just Kagawa, Ahime, and Kochi. But I am not 100% certain of that. It's mostly just that I couldn't find around I, in recent memory that um, was in Tokushima where I had it, where in the other prefectures they're very common. Uh, and that sticker is this, can be found on signposts, on normal poles, on these, like the wall mounts. Um, and it's the yellow, red, yellow pattern um, that is specific to Shikoku. Uh, moving on, we have a, one of the more famous sticker metas, the Kumamoto, so this prefecture down on Kyushu, the Kumamoto red sticker. Uh, it's a relatively thick uh, wrap, red wrapping on signposts that looks like this. Uh, you can also find a thicker thing on this kind of pole. Um, Mostly unique to Kumamoto, but uh, Miyazaki, so this prefecture here, uh, can have a very similar thing as they have a couple different colors of this thicker sticker or wrapping, uh, and they can occasionally uh, be red, so look very reminiscent of these Kumamoto ones. Uh, but either way, this is a very good clue for um, Kumamoto 9 times out of 10, or if not, then a neighboring prefecture. Um, next, we are moving up to Tohoku and Yamagata Prefecture. On many signposts in the prefecture, you can find like three to five um, different colored uh, wrappings that go all the way around the signposts. They can be yellow, black, green, blue, I've seen red as well. Um, and it's a good way of telling apart different uh, Tohoku prefectures, as the region is rather large, large and hard to region guess. Um, and it's also a relatively unique setup, um, so good from good for uh, telling Yamagata from the rest of the country as well. Uh, the last one is for Osaka blue sticker, so uh, here in central Japan. Uh, sometimes it can be this like slightly thicker plain blue uh, sticker, or it can have some sort of this like white. Um, box or some text or, or something on it like that. Um, there are other cities that have uh, similar ones like Fukuoka or Yam uh, Yamaguchi, but uh, these are definitely a good way of telling Osaka apart from say Tokyo or Nagoya, like the other biggest cities, uh, and is also a good way of identifying the prefecture if you, you know, already know that you're in Kansai, um, as none of the other Kansai prefectures will have a sticker that looks like this. All right, that is it for uh, this video. On stream the other day, I got an assisted 11 prefecture streak, so I'm going to upset my previous video plans a little bit. Um, so the next video will be a uh, educational review of each of those rounds, going through uh, the thought process and different metas that we use to identify the exact prefecture. So until then, thanks all for watching, uh, and I'll see you then.